Well, hello YouTube, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, whatever time of day it is, it's me, Tri-State ADC here once again, make sure my shirt's all buttoned up, feeling good, looking good, feeling right. We got a package from Burn Blades! I just bought this and we got another one, so let's bust this little beauty open together, you and me, just you and me, just the two of us, opening a box, two bros, hanging out with the box. <laughs> Yes, this, I just bought this. Uh, I What's on top is my uh, full-size Berg Blades Barber. Took me a while to hunt one down. This one was modded by Parker of Rocky Top Customs. It's the crazy two-tone color-shifting uh, green and then blue and then green and blue. Crazy Northern Light Cerakote. I love the Barber. I love it. And Matt is a great dude over at Berg Blades. A sweetheart. A nice guy. He's a nice guy. Huh? Great mustache on him, too. Huh? Look up a picture of that man. Beautiful stash. This is also a barber to match the barber that I just bought. It uh, just dropped this past Friday. Today's Monday? Monday. Today's Monday. Last Friday it dropped. I'll leave a link to his website down below where you can get one for yourself. But this was a pre-order and uh, now it's here and now it's a drop. There are a handful of variants left as of the filming of this. Oh baby. Oh, so I've never seen this packaging. My barber did not come in the original packaging, which is kind of a bummer, but whatever. You know, what happens. So in the box, we have Bergblade's pouch. One, two, three Bergblade stickers. You gotta love some good swag. We have a little uh, authenticity card here. 44 out of 111. Love that. Uh, great number. Mini Barber, M390, Micarta, Titanium, Titanium. Uh, kisses. Kisses. We have a big old pouch and a packing slip. You know what that means? Nothing left in here. It gets louder every time. I swear. I swear to God. So we got this bullhead. So I've never seen this packaging. This is kind of gnarly, dude. Uh, we have this wild, like, bullhead going on here with the BB logo, Berg Blades. Nice zipper pouch. Nothing crazy. So let's bust this thing open. You know, let's take a look at the miniature version. I literally thought there was no knife in it. Look at this. I thought there was no knife in it. Oh, it's in there. Little silica beads, my favorite snack. It's a little guy. Ooh, it's adorable. Oh, beautiful. Nothing left in the pouch. Let's set that aside. Let's get this here on the ready for the uh, for the uh, comparison. Ooh, it's sealed. Vacuum sealed. Now this, just like the Big Daddy Barber, is made by Rayot. Um, ooh, and they have some really cool variants. Look at this thing. Look at that. I want you to look at that. It's so cute. It's a little guy. It is the mini barber. So the pocket clip, generally the same. This little uh, mill titanium deal. It's it's technically a bolster lock, uh, the mini here. So full titanium construction. We have micarta overlays here. This is the black on black version. Uh, little little micarta pivot collar too. Nice little touch. Micarta is pretty smooth. No real grippiness or texturing there. But uh, we have that big gnarly jimping on the back spine of the blade like we did on the Big Daddy. Big old thumb studs. And with this one, unlike the Big Daddy, let's go ahead and close that. This one's a front flipper or a top flipper. We have options here. And I love that. I love that. So before I open it up, let's do a little size comparison. This is the, the full size barber, just the Bird Blades barber. And this is the mini barber. It's... It's so adorable. The big barber's a big knife, right? This is, this is a big boy. This is a big daddy. This guy, it's such a great size compared to a Spyderco pair of three. Uh, yeah. Yeah, dude. It's a little guy. Let's zoom you out so you can see here. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Look at that. It's a little guy. It's just a little cutie patoot. I'm all for it. Uh, where's my rock wall? I need my rock wall, damn it. Damn it, Bobby. You get the idea. It's a little cutie. It's adorable. But it's a it's a good size knife for EDC. So let's set that away. Super light in the hand, weight wise, like half. It feels like ha like a half weight, half uh, featherweight, featherweight contender here. It's a little baby boy. Let's flick this thing open. I'll shut the hell up. Flicker open. Ooh, again, nice tall hollow grind on that blade M390. This is the DLC coated everything blacked out in the black micarta. I just love this colorway beautiful love this blade shape somebody told me 
the name of this in the comment section and I forget. So future me, here's the name of this blade shape. Wow. The more you know. Rainbow. Cool, thanks. Uh, really nice. It is quite literally just a little, a shrunketh down version. Look at that. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. It's goddamn adorable. I'm just in love with the damn thing. This is my ideal size for an EDC. Uh, so we got the, the Berg Blade Maker's Mark here on the blade, on the Cho side, and on the reverse side, clean as a damn whistle. Uh, nice titanium backspacer. All in all, it's the same knife. So in hand, it feels great. It still feel, fills the hand. Fills my small glove size hand really well. No hot spots. Uh, n now, unlike the large... The finger choil, or the choil here, is not usable as a finger choil. The big daddy, you got plenty of room. You can choke up right here, and that feels great. On the little one, there's not... Well, mm, it's a little sketch. It's a little sketchy. It's a little sus, you know? But I can live with it. I can live right there. And that feels great. Ergo's in hand. So You get a ton of grip from that uh, blade spine, the jimping on that blade spine. I just love that. Feels good. Really intense jimping. Uh, and pinch grip? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, you can get right up there on the uh, right on the tip of that blade, tip of the blade spine feels great. Much thinner blade stock than the full size, about half as thick. So um, I have high hopes for the cutting performance. Action! Oh, running on a set of ceramic bearings again made by Rayot. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, it makes a great little noise too. So it's not. Honestly, the, the, the full size isn't like a guillotine by any means, but it closes a little more uh, readily than this does. But this is smooth. This might even be smoother than mine, than the big one, if I'm being honest with you. Makes a good noise. That's nice. Oh, uh, ow, something's in my eye. Help me, Jesus. Help me, Tom Cruise. So, uh, reverse flicks. No problem. Feels great. Thumb flicks all day. Feels nice. Feels good in the hand. Uh, top flipper. Works great. I love a good top flipper because I can do the old reach around on top there. And I love having options. Oh, yeah. And because it's a bolster lock, it's probably more lefty friendly. Yeah. Great. No problem. Reverse flick, thumb flick, left handed. Easy peasy. I love it. I love it. It's just not, I literally went from having no barbers and nothing from Berg Blades to having two, like in the course of like two weeks. So awesome stuff. Links for this in the description. But we ought to cut something with it real quick. I don't know why I did that. We got the Smoky Mountain Knife Works catalog. Here's one. We'll see if this will cut something. I bet you. I bet you she will. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Factory Edge from Rayot. Doing the, doing the work. Nice, tall, uber-thin hollow grind. Excellent. Excellent. All day long, baby. All day long. No issues. No snags. No nothing. The mini barber from Bird Blades. I got two barbers now. <laughs> I got two of them. Uh, definitely, if you have the money, if you're interested in this knife, grab one. Because once they're gone, they're gone. The Big Daddy Barber... It's gone forever. I had to buy this on the secondary. As far as I know, gone forever. He's working on new designs all the time. Uh, the mini, once this drop is over, they're gone. Uh, this costs 295 bucks, which for what you're getting, totally reasonable. Excellent build quality from Rayot. Cutting performance off the chain. Get you one. Link in the description. Plenty of different versions available. Uh, love it. I love it. I love them both. I got two barbers, baby. That's it from me. This is not the full review, just uh, the unboxings and first impressions. There will be plenty of pictures of both of these on my Instagram, as well as on Kara's Instagram, so be sure to check us out there. But that is it from me. So thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, bye-bye now.